Hello there guys, welcome to day two of my Unreal, uh, sorry, sound there through my, welcome to day two of my seven day, uh, game challenge in Unreal Engine 4. Um, so, today's change is what we're taking a look at, well, I, I, firstly I apologise for the late video, um, I put this up, I'm recording this on the morning after day two because it got to 4am last night and I was still working on this project. And I tried to record a video and parents were asleep and it was just like, man, I can't, can't do this. This is too loud. So I recorded this morning. So here we go. Let's take a look at what we got. So let's pop into the game and you will probably notice that the first change is we have some kind of UI. Simple as it is, there is a UI there now. Uh, on the left mouse button, you have the fell blast that we made earlier. And you'll notice the little goblins. We'll get to those in a second. You have the fell blast that we have earlier. And we also have a new spell. This is number one. This is the lightning thing, and this has got a three second cooldown, and it does more damage, and the explosion is more powerful. Um, well, at the minute it's equal to this one, but I need to turn down the explosion on the on the fell blast so that the electric one is a lot more powerful. But yeah, so there you go. This is the second spell now. Um, I'm going with green for most of my spells. I think my number four I might do is some of the... I'm not sure what to do for these final abilities, you know, I'm thinking a, a, a fire breath. Um, I want some kind of lightning that arcs across the ground uh, towards the target and I'm thinking number four could be some kind of meteor that falls from the sky and deals uh, a lot of damage and leaves like a damage over time effect on the ground. Um, so these are going to get quite uh, hard to build basically. Um, so yeah, okay, that's enough with the spells, enough with um, what's going to happen. Let's take a look at what has happened. So. Health and experience, they're in the game, as well as a leveling system and mana. So if I use my number one ability here, you'll notice that my mana goes down and regens over time. The, f the left click spell does not use mana. So let's go ahead and kill one of these goblins, which I will explain more in a moment. Let's keep shooting this little fucker. And we can lock onto them. Just to lock onto these. The lightning blast, by the way, will always hit its target. Like if I totally face this way, the lightning blast will... Oh, it didn't quite hit its target. I lied. But it's a lot more powerful at like switching to where its target is than, say, this one. If I fire this, you'll notice that it actually drifts miles off. And the lightning blast goes much closer to him. So that's um, one of the perks of using your mana for your spells. You know, you get you get a spell that's more likely to, to hit the target. Uh, so I'll just keep pounding the fuck out of this little guy. Uh, not in the way that my girlfriend would disapprove, but, you know, I'll keep hitting him, basically. Uh, um, right, I'm hoping he dies. There we go. Okay, so my experience, you can see there, has gone up a bit. Uh, if I were to kill enough of these, my level would increase, too. Uh, along with that, my health would increase and my mana would increase. Um, but, now, finally, the goblins. Let's take a look at this. So, this is what kept me up until 4am. I have never, ever, ever done AI like this before. I've never done it the way you're supposed to in Unreal Engine, using an AI tree. And I was following some guy's tutorial on YouTube last night, um, and I was trying to get this set up, and his tutorial's a bit out of date, so, like, a lot of the nodes weren't there, so I was trying to figure out how to get it done. I've never touched animation before, either, so I was trying to follow Mixamo's tutorial on their website, to get myself uh, an animation blueprint working right with with the character with one of the goblins and so far it's gone quite well you know he runs I, you can see though that he uses the wrong running animation here he's looking like he's trying to sprint when he's walking um, but I can fix that and I will fix that today um, yeah so the idea is that the enemies randomly patrol between these points in this room so there's six points in here and you will get your staff or whatever you will venture out and you will kill the goblins, learn new combat moves. Uh, they don't actually lock onto the player either, but they will do. Um, that's just something else I need to sort out today. And then you'll head on up here, maybe one or two more goblins in this corridor, into the portal, which now works and takes you to the next level. There is no next level, so it simply takes you back to the start, but I'm just going to demonstrate that anyway for the sake of um, showing you everything that's going on here. So we'll head up here. Um, let's see if we can find one of these little guys to lock onto. So we can fire our bolts from up here now. And hopefully try and hit him. And you can see the explosion sends them jumping into the air. And me, apparently, if you shoot it too close to the wall. 
Uh, yeah, so here we go. We have the final portal here, which takes you back to where the first person character spawn is, which is here. Uh, but the idea is that I will change the wording on that so that it takes you through to level two. Um, it's been a relatively short video today, uh, even though I've covered quite a lot. And I think the issue behind it was... Whilst there's not a lot to demonstrate, there's a lot of back-end to this AI. So, for example, I have the controller, which... There I was saying there's a lot of back-end, there's only two uh, two nodes in this. So there's the controller, then you've got to have the AI tree, then you got to have the bot data, so it's target point, what state it's in, who the enemy actor is, and the route that it should be taken on a patrol. you got the bot state, which is, does, is it patrolling, is it searching, is it attacking... Uh, you got the waypoints to build. You got the route to build. Like you got to build these little blueprints to update the route. Um, I had to build blueprints to adjust the the speed. I had to build a service which ran constantly. I had to sort out uh, the animations on these guys and build an animation blueprint. So it's been a little bit hectic just for this one little enemy. Um, but basically, that's in the game now. I mean, the game's going to need to have enemies, right? You can't have an RPG without enemies, surely. Um, so, so yeah, that's where I'm at with this. Um, I'm hoping tonight's video will bring me uh, a lot more that I can show you. I'm hoping today to get on with making sure that this AI uh, is a bit smoother. Making sure that, um, you know, obviously its animation is fixed. Making sure that it can attack me. Making sure that it plays the right animation when attacking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and get that done today. Uh, along with hopefully adding one or two more spells. Numbers 5 and 6 are going to be used for health and mana potions, which you'll be able to collect from loot chests. So if I can get the goblin working, excuse me, if I can get the goblin working, I will add health and mana potions to the game as well. Uh, and with those, we'll start coming loot. So from the loot boxes, I'm going to start... Um, I'm not sure what you'll get. Like items, I'm really struggling on how items are going to work. Uh, maybe if you get a new staff, it won't necessarily change the model of the staff, but it will modify the damage at least to start with. And then you know, as um, as I get better with the with as as time goes on, if I've got time at the end, maybe I'll, I'll model some new staffs for the game. Uh, and when you collect a staff with better stats, then it will um, it will update the visuals of it as well. So that's the plan for the upcoming days. It's only day two. I think I've made a bit of progress. I've got AI sort of working. It roams around. It follows a does what it's told basically um so yeah that, that's that's it for day two i hope you've liked this video guys please do stay tuned for uh the following videos for what we've got coming up next you know the uh for following the progress um oh i just found a little bug it doesn't seem to unlock from the character when you click off it but i'm glad i found that i'll fix that um yeah so Subscribe, stay tuned to the channel, guys. See you in the, like, uh, looking forward to the, making the next videos. I look forward to seeing you, your guys' reactions to the upcoming videos. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of the AI. Tell me what you think of what you've seen today, the interface, what needs to be improved, what do you think should be changed, how would you have done it. Um, and if you liked the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, you know, feel free to leave a thumbs down. I'd rather you didn't, but you can if you want to. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching. And as always, I will see you on the next video.